This is going to be kind of a third look, if you will, at the CIS distribution and the work that's being done with LTI. Uh, these videos are kind of long because it's kind of hard to describe this all in one shot, but here goes. So what we're going to do is try to do a launch from a traditional LMS against a Drupal-based system and have it go and create other Drupal systems. Uh, this approach is similar to a project called Agar, uh, which is common in the Drupal community, uh, but it's a little more focused towards education and the structure of education. So uh, really the goal, the first goal here will be to take this ARC20 right here, you see I have the space, it just has some details, and attempt to have Angel, which is our, our current LMS, uh, actually populate our system based on the data coming from it. And so you'll see right now we have offerings. There's nothing for our 20 as our offerings. Um, this approach as a visual um, can be seen here. I did a blog post about it a couple months ago. Uh, so we're taking an LMS container and we're actually going to launch against our online course service, uh, which is the one I'm showing here. So we'll have an LTI request that goes here. And then it's going to interpret that request and allow you to create a course um, you know, studio, and any other tool. So it's kind of a, almost just a router, right? Um, but it's going to store certain information in the online system uh, that these other systems can then access. So let's show this actually doing something. So we can go into, this is just our acceptance area here. Uh, I have this nice little space, and you'll see in Angel, to show what this link looks like. There's nothing special going on here. It's just the launch against online.ana.psu.edu slash LTI. Uh, so LTI stands for Learning Tools Interoperability. And so what can we do? Let's see. Okay. So what we're going to do, we'll click the link, and you'll see it's just opening up the, the same website, the online site. Um, you'll notice that this is the information that came across. So that same link placed at different positions in your LMS will actually generate these details differently. Um, so it's kind of almost contextualizing where you are at the moment you click it and you set this up. So I showed this before, you see we have some you know, information here. I'm just going to create the course service and we're going to look at what that actually ends up doing. So we're going to create the course instructional flow service. Now we can do multiple services, we could actually modify that LTI launch. Um, to go and populate this part for you. The idea is that you could actually create and request different services from this one hub space, right? So let's look at what that just did there. So I'm gonna refresh this page. So from the LTI launch, you'll see it's created an offering. It knows that the course is gonna be offered in this year, this semester. It then creates a section for that. So the section that I was in when I clicked. So if I went to a different section, um, in our LMS and I clicked through, it would create a different section here underneath this offering. Um, you'll see it's populated quite a bit of the details. You know, it's, it's trying to data mine as much as it can to automate this process uh, as far as it possibly can. You know, so we don't have any instruction online yet. And we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, so you see we have an access duration, we have some string information. These are just internal things. It set me as an instructor. Um, the syllabus stuff, if I would have uploaded one, would have been there. Um, and so let's select these materials. And we'll have this in the launch later. So waiting a minute here. What this goes off and does is it actually is going to create another Drupal site. Uh, this is not the Drupal site it created. This is why I made the task, but you'll see I have this art 10 site here. Uh, so it's going to actually have the one system go and connect to courses.ana.pc.edu and build part 20. And so that usually takes about two minutes. So I'm going to cut this one here and we're going to pick up in the next video.